In this demonstration, I'd like to show you some ways that you can take advantage of some efficiency tools in sketch mode in SolidWorks. I'm running in SolidWorks 2009, and I've already opened a sketch on the front plane. Using my letter S shortcut bar, I'll bring up my sketch tools, and let's choose the new center rectangle tool. With the center rectangle, I can just pick a point and then drag out the rectangle uh, from the center point. Notice also in the property manager a new setting to add dimensions. This will add dimensions to my sketch entities automatically. So as I drag out this rectangle, I have a live field where I can key in the height. Using the tab key, I can now cycle to the next dimension, and then hitting the enter key, that will lock in that entity. Let's try that again with a circle. Using the letter S, grab my circle tool, and as I drag out the diameter, I get a, a field that I can key in the diameter for that circle, and it automatically creates a dimension for me. One more time, let's use a three-point arc click these two endpoints, drag out the radius, and I'll lock that in at about 6.25. And finally, we'll set this upper horizontal line to construction. Now simply double clicking, exit the sketch. Clicking on any of the sketch entities now puts me in instant 3D mode, where I can dynamically drag the extrusion depth, and I can lock into the on-screen ruler to specify an exact depth value of 5 inches. So automatically adding dimensions, dynamic dragging, center rectangle tool, a lot of great enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2008 and 2009 in the sketching interface.